Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And in this recording, we're just going to focus on your legs. That's it. Just your legs. And ideally, you would get yourself comfortable lying down on a flat surface, like a bed, if you're wishing to fall asleep. Or in a comfortable chair that supports your body if you're listening solely for the relaxation. If you lie down, there's a very, very, very big chance that you will drift off to sleep. So if you have to be somewhere, have an appointment or something, and maybe set your alarm, that might be useful. But nothing too, you know, too loud. It's something that will maybe wake you up gently. Or if you want, I can shout at the end of the recording. <laughs> I could like, I wake up. But no, I won't. As per usual, there'll be two versions of this recording. One with, one without music. The one with music lasts for two hours. And I guess is very suitable for those wishing to fall asleep. Now, I am just going to focus on your legs. That is it. So I'm sitting in a chair. <sighs> what I'm going to do is put my feet on the ground. That might, that might sound like I was kind of had my feet in the air before. I didn't. I just uh, didn't have them, you know, flat on the ground. Now, I'd like to do this recording laying down, but I will fall asleep. I've tried and failed many times to make recordings lying on my bed. And practically every time I fall asleep. Sometimes I really, really fall asleep and I wake up having recorded four, four hours of me snoring loudly, which is lovely. So before we focus on your eyes, on your legs rather, focusing on your eyes was a previous recording I did so before we focus on our legs I'm going to count down from 10 down to 1 to give you an opportunity to just wind down to just calm your mind now there will possibly be background sounds but that's because I'm not recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning it's uh, 6.30 in the evening and there are still a few humans around outside those damn humans Ooh. so <laughs> So, there may be background sounds here, there may be background sounds where you are, but we don't need complete silence. Because, logically, if you needed complete silence to relax deeply or to fall asleep, then 
listening to me wouldn't be ideal, would it? Because I'm not being quiet. I'm talking. So therefore, if you can relax deeply listening to me, fall asleep listening to me and my voice, you can also relax deeply with other sounds in the background, like a pigeon or the odd plane, or maybe kids playing in the gardens outside. That stuff doesn't matter. It only matters if, if you believe it matters. And I'm telling you it doesn't. Not for this recording. So if you've got maybe family in other rooms of your house, or maybe you can hear people mowing the lawn, one of your neighbours mowing the lawn or something like that. It doesn't matter. Trust me. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. It doesn't matter. Because we don't need complete silence in order to relax. In fact, it's sometimes easier to let go when there are sounds around. Because I think some people maybe struggle a little bit to fall asleep or to relax when they feel like they're on their own. Now, listening to me, you're not on your own. You've got me with you. And in the same way, if you can hear background sounds, it means you're not alone either. Because you've got people not far away. If you can hear traffic, if you can hear the neighbours. Of course, it, there's a cut-off point. Like a space shuttle landing, you know, in your driveway. That would be a little bit off-putting. Slightly. I remember I went round to someone, someone's house about 15, 16 years ago and they I was doing some hypnosis with them and with this lady and roadworks started right outside her, her door right outside the house so she lived in a cul-de-sac the end of a cul-de-sac and they started digging the, the road up we didn't continue the session we did it for a little while I was okay to do it, but we just kept laughing. So it wasn't any point really. But just general background sounds. You know, why Why let that limit you? Why? Why allow other sounds to limit your enjoyment to get in the way of your relaxation or sleep that's just not fair is it and ultimately the person not being fair is you because you're the one allowing yourself to be affected by it when the fact is the more relaxed you get the less you care. You really do get to the point where it doesn't matter. See, I've got a foghorn that lives locally and she's just so loud. I mean, I can hear her now, but she may well be in the next town don't know she's got a, a voice is that loud if everyone spoke as loud as her telephones would never have been invented they wouldn't be needed honestly so yeah she's still shouting the thing is you're not going to be able to hear her 
as loudly as I hear her because the microphone's really kind of aiming at me and my voice, my boring, boring voice. So, counting down from ten to one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. And maybe that was a bit too quick in order to relax. Maybe it's a bit too fast for you to notice the calming of your body. Maybe even a little bit of pressure there, like, you're counting down from 10 to 1, what do you expect me to do, man? You expect me just to go all floppy, just because you're counting down? We could try again, but this time I'll go a bit slower. This time, as you focus on the whole of your body before we focus on your legs. Just notice how your body does start to feel more relaxed with every number that I count down. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, just notice how how you feel generally how your body feels it's not necessarily even about counting down from 10 to 1 it's that space that you have that space between being active physically or mentally to just sitting or lying down just being there not doing anything not saying anything not 
needing to think about anything. So it, op it opens up a space, you know, a bit of a space, a gap. And the more I count down from 10 to 1, the bigger that gap becomes. So there's that gap of calmness, of comfort, relaxation. It's a nice feeling. And it moves those stresses or discomforts physically or emotionally, moves them away. Allows you to just slow down. So I'm going to count again from 10 down to 1 and notice that gap widening. The gap. And as it widens, it's almost like the, the stress and attention falls into the gap. gives you that distance, that space, now, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five. Three. How does your body feel now? Can you notice the, that you're feeling calmer? Feeling more relaxed. I 
as we now focus on your legs, just your legs. And we're just going to start with focusing on your thighs. course it's not the most exciting thing to be doing because I'm, I'm sure like most of your body there's not a lot going on right now just focus in on the whole of your thighs the tops of your thighs the sides of your thighs, the bottoms of your thighs, your outer thighs and your inner thighs. Basically the whole of your thigh that leads into your hip. And then goes down to your knee joints. Now this is a big area, it's a very heavy area, it's a very strong, probably the strongest muscles in your body are in your thighs. But I don't think we, perhaps, and give enough attention to our thighs. Perhaps we don't acknowledge how important our thighs are to our lives. how much they actually do for us all through our lives and it may, it may seem to sound really weird but I think that all of our body parts especially our thighs need some TLC a bit of love shown a bit of acknowledgement a thank you gratitude for what our thighs do for us And I know this may sound a bit strange. Maybe you think, why am I? Surely I should be out in, in the garden hugging a tree or something. Well, it's hard to set a microphone up on a tree. That's why I'm doing this indoors. Otherwise, I would be outside hugging a tree. No, I can't see the television from the tree. you move down to your knees, again such an important part and I think we don't necessarily, I'll speak for myself here, I don't necessarily appreciate all that my knees do for me until I have a problem with my knee, so occasionally if I have a Maybe I bash it or it's aching for some reason. It's then that I realise how much 
much it does. You know, the benefit of being able to use my legs without any kind of physical discomfort is a beautiful thing that's possibly not appreciated until it's temporarily removed you know that comfort but as you focus on your knees regardless of how your knees feel you can add that sense of gratitude and love to your knees for all that they do for you And you can still have that attention on your thighs and maybe notice how your thighs feel. Maybe you've noticed that they are relaxing more deeply. As you focus now on the bottoms of your legs, your shins, and your calf muscles, and the bones between your knees and your feet, incorporating of course your ankles, so important. You know, anyone that's had even the, like the slightest sprain of an ankle knows how, how much we take our ankles for granted. And it's kind of strange in a way when you think that, you know, logically our wrists are a lot thinner than the rest of our arms, which is, okay, doesn't, can't see any problem with that because we're just picking stuff up. But our ankles are so much thinner than the rest of our legs. And from a physics perspective, or logical even, it doesn't really make sense that all this weight would ultimately be resting on your ankles then leading to your feet. That thin area, a thin bone. Yet it does so much great work. It supports us, supports our body for a lifetime. Helps us to balance helps you to get around and be mobile and it's the calf muscles of course when I was younger I couldn't see the point in calf muscles it didn't seem to do anything like, okay, if I walked around on tiptoes, then my calf muscles get some work. But of course that's not true. The calf muscles are being used whenever we use our legs. And your shins. There to protect your lower legs. shaped in a way almost as a protector for the bone leading of course to your ankles and your feet but we're not going to focus on your feet we're just going to focus on the legs I realize that now that I've mentioned your feet, you're probably 
focusing on them anyway. So maybe I should focus on your feet a little bit. You can have them in your awareness. The same as you have your thighs in your awareness. Even though we haven't been focusing on your thighs for a few minutes. We've been focusing on your ankles. There's still that sensation of comfort in your thighs. And there's that movement of energy because the thighs hold lots of different sensations. Of course, there's the muscles big strong muscles that we have in our thighs but the skin on the outside of the thighs as in the outside of all of our body can be very sensitive Sensitive to the touch, sensitive to temperature. And inside your thighs, the bones, there's the muscle, there's the blood vessels, the arteries. So all this stuff that's inside your thighs. And I guess sometimes it'd be nice if you could actually put your fingers inside your thighs and massage. So you can massage on the outside, of course, but to be able to get deep into the muscles and to be able to just massage inside your thighs, massaging the bones of your leg, massaging all the veins and just gently healing your thighs and you could move down massaging inside your knees just massaging those bones but with healing fingertips spreading that healing energy deep into the joints of your knees and of course there's the back of your your knee you know the inside crease where your knee is it's a very sensitive area it's very feels very nice when you stroke it that might be because it's an area that's not really touched very often it's almost like a hidden part, that crease in your legs. It's almost it's like a part that has a, a sensitivity which is a little bit different. Of course, it's protected by your legs. So you can imagine putting your fingers into that crease in your legs. That fold in between your legs, you can just massage with your fingertips. Imagine your fingertips going inside, massaging the muscle tissue. You can, of course, feel the, the bones of your knees healing through your fingertips. And then as you go down to your calf muscles, now that's a part I'd like to be able to really put my fingertips deep inside 
my calf muscles and massage in every single tissue of that muscle healing every part and then doing the same for my shins massaging and gently stroking the bones gently stroking them healing in a loving way because they deserve to be treated as the precious bones that they are because our legs are so precious as in all the other parts of our body they're more precious than any jewel on the planet and when you start to think about your legs in this way it can change your perspective it might sound a bit a bit silly to start with the idea of having love for your legs showing appreciation for your thighs Wanting to be able to put your hands in your thighs and massage the muscles and the bones and to get your fingers deep in there, releasing all tension. Just to show how much you care about your legs much you care for what your legs do for you regularly your knees your calves your ankles the strength of your ankles considering how thin they are compared to the rest of your legs especially your thighs They're so strong, so flexible, absolutely amazing things your ankles are truly a gift because of what they do for you. Supporting all that weight regardless of how what weight you are even if you're only eight stone it's still a lot of weight for these little ankles now I'm a lot heavier than eight stone double that yet my ankles support my body all the time although they do give off a sigh of relief when I sit down as in fact my whole legs do my feet feet also go and my toes clap they're so happy really are amazing and I know <laughs> that talking about talking about your legs is probably possibly the, among the most Im, most boring things you've ever heard anyone say possibly but boring or not everything I said is true your legs are amazing. You 
Your legs deserve not just respect. They deserve to relax deeply. They deserve to take some time out of the day to just let go completely. really can relax and because the legs are so such a most you know very important part of your body when you relax your legs the rest of your body also naturally follows in that journey of comfort. I can feel it in my hips. My hips feel really loose. And also my lower back as well. My lower back really feels, it feels stretched, even though I'm just sitting in a chair and there's no stretching, as far as I'm aware that I'm doing, but it's almost as if the muscles have just relaxed so much that there is a natural stretch as the tension has reduced a lot. going to count down from 10 down to 1 and you can continue to feel wonderfully relaxed 10 9 8 7 Six. 